you would not be wasting your time if you were dancing. So some people say it's like how the robots, like the robots are years away. And then you're like, no, it's not robots actually like walking around your neighborhood. I mean, of course, that's unlikely. But Amazon soaking up the business that used to go to your mall. If you go to their fulfillment center, it's robots as far as the eye can see. It's just for whatever reason, I'm like the only person just laying out the facts and being like, guys, it's not your imagination. Like we actually are getting rid of the most common jobs in the US economy, filled by high school graduates, and then replacing them with a handful of jobs for higher skilled people in different places. And then we're pretending that the first population is somehow gonna access the new opportunities. Men deal with joblessness very, very poorly. Uh, we, our substance abuse goes up, our volunteering in the community goes down even though we have more time, and we generally spiral into antisocial and self-destructive behavior. And that's one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about a universal basic income, the freedom dividend, to help reverse this trend, get the boot off of people's throats, and replace the mindset of scarcity with the mindset of abundance. With a mindset of abundance, we would see untold new hundreds and thousands of entrepreneurs, artists, creatives, founders, starting new things and organizations and projects and companies around the country. Because what we need for that to happen, more than anything else, is a mindset of abundance and people thinking that if they take the right moves into the future, they'll actually succeed. It's not money for nothing. You're an owner and shareholder of the richest country in the history of the world. Like you're now a shareholder in this great nation and you get a dividend.